Oh, no, wait. he's just chilling. He's waiting. Malden and I'm here to show you Auckland, New Zealand. When the mom was saying us to sleep, but now we're still stuck. Wish we could turn back time. Take the good old days. When the mom was saying us to sleep, but now we're still stuck. Used to play for ten, used to play for ten, honey. We used to play for ten. So here is our Auckland edition of IBC Cribs with the Western Magpies here in Green Bay, Auckland. That is so cool.
he's just chilling. He's waiting. I'll wait for you. He's like, I'm sitting on the top of my car. You can't miss me. <laughs> <laughs> from Christchurch, New Zealand, where we are currently having the club nationals for the Premier Women's. Um, there are five of us IBC members here this weekend, uh, representing IBC and also the clubs that we've been playing for for this current winter season. So check it out. Come on. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. All right, here we are in sunny Christchurch at their number one ballpark. Uh, a game is about to commence where actually two top talent import players are playing, Paige and Alec, uh, playing against a Canterbury team, a local team. So it's going to heat up. I don't know where the spectators are, but um, obviously they're a little scared off. Maybe they'll come soon. Uh, I hope you guys come and watch. So I'm Elizabeth Snow, I'm from Long Beach, California. Went to university over at the University at Albany in New York and on my first season here in New Zealand. Yeah, I am Siobhan Landeros, I am from Reno, Nevada. I played two years at Appalachian State University in North Carolina and finished up at University of Central Arkansas. Obviously, it's uh, in Arkansas. Yeah. <laughs> this is my first time abroad in New Zealand. Awesome, so I just wanted to ask both of you how you guys found out about softball overseas. So I found out about it through my friend Vicky McFarland who had used the website to go to Australia and to Germany. Um, I actually played with Chelsea Cohen in high school who is one of the recruiting coordinators at the IBC and she told me about it like years before I even finished college so it was kind of always something that was in my sights throughout my whole four years and then so once I graduated I was like alright well she's been doing it for like a million years now so I might as well just jump on, yeah, jump on the same boat. <laughs> You guys have obviously been here for a while in New Zealand. What's like one of your favorite things about New Zealand? I love the pies. I like, not <laughs> love the pies. We don't have pies. No, we don't have we don't have pies at home. Not like this. I love the pies. And I love the people. How friendly everybody is. It's really made my stay really enjoyable. The coffee. I cannot oh, say that yeah. enough. The coffee is so good. Yeah. I'm gonna go home and just get it because yeah. it's just not the same. Starbucks, like you, you it ain't. You, it can't, ain't the same. you can't match up. Yeah. 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 You can't match it's up. The same. Yeah, definitely not. The coffee's amazing. The people are awesome. They're super friendly. Very warm, welcoming. The the Modi culture is very oh, cool. Yeah. Very cool. It's amazing how they really like the whole country embraces like their native culture here. The last question I have is if you're talking to girls that are future imports that are back home what would you say to convince them to get the courage to come overseas it's a one in one time and a lifetime experience like you don't know if you're going to be able to come back to this country or not you're definitely going to make new friends you're definitely going to have new experiences new places to see i've talked to so many girls that are like oh it's so cool what you're doing wish i could do that like you could you totally could and there's even been a couple that i've extended the opportunity to and i just think a lot of people are afraid to leave home they're afraid to leave like their job opportunities or you know they, they think that they need to like dive right into whatever they went to school for your degree will still be there when you get back home um your family will still be there when you get back home your dog will still be there when you get back home like everything will still be there if you leave for six months and decide to come back like this opportunity won't always be there and so instead of being the person sitting at your desk job thinking oh my god i wish i could be playing overseas just like just do it. <laughs> That's all I can say. Just like, so yeah, just be brave and just like, if you get the opportunity and it's like in your lap and you really mull it over and don't be scared and just go ahead and take it. And depending on what you want to do, this could actually help you get to where you want if we give you that push for independence that you always thought you had but never really do. So.
behind us, we have the Christchurch Cathedral. As you can tell by the right exterior side, it took quite a walloping by the earthquakes. Um, either that or a media, but I think earthquakes is a safe guess. Um, this is quite a famous building for many reasons, those of which I cannot tell you. Um, but we're all here to take photos of it. Its beauty is astounding.